And this forum is brought to you by PROS, headed by, of course, Glenda Olid. <laughs> and our guest for today is the Chairman of Committee on uh, Foreign Affairs, uh, Economic oh, Affairs, and of course, former Senate President uh, Juan Miguel Subiri. Hi, sir. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Basta puro economic, wala lang affairs. Kagali. Mabait ako. Ano ako, ha? I'm a, I am the president of Uhaw, dun sa amin sa Region 10. Mm -hmm. Alam niyo yung Uhaw? Ano Union yun? of Husbands Afraid of Wives. Ah. Yeah. O sino sa inyo membro ko? <laughs> I-member ko sir yung asawa ko. Ah. <laughs> Sige, take out na sa atin. <laughs> we can ask anything. Joke time pala tayo today. <laughs> Comedy show pala tayo. Sorry, sorry. Oh, pero sir, ito hindi na joke ka. Okay. Although all is well that ends well between you and Senator Alan Peter Caetano, but Bilang Mr. Congeniality of Senate, do you have any regrets na nakipag, uh, nagkaroon kayo ng heated arguments or talagang naging mainit na yung sitwasyon at parang mahirap ng kontrolin yung emotion that time? Well, uh, moving on and moving forward, uh, nagbati naman po kaming dalawa. Mm -hmm. It was just a, uh, I would say, a miscommunication that turned into a misunderstanding. Kasi yun nga, hindi po namin alam anong tinitake up sa floor. Ako naman kasi, kilala nyo ako, I've been really pushing for rules and traditions, lalo na yung traditions of the Senate. And part of the traditions of the Senate was uh, yung agenda of the day. Di ba? Mm. Kung wala sa agenda of the day, you have to see consensus from everyone before you actually take it up. Hindi naman natin sinasabi pinagbabawal natin yan kasi panahon ko ng SP uh, ako noon and I, there were appeals to take up simple resolutions, uh, and off the cuff, uh, po kami, but due, with due consultation, uh, with due consultation sa mga members. Um, kasi nandun po ako, a little background, nandun po ako sa taas, meeting with the, uh, some of our local leaders, and then over the, um, the TV, di ba yung monitor, narinig ko yung parang creation of districts or appropriation of districts. Um, and so, Nagulat ako kasi wala naman sa agenda yung mm -hmm. paggagawa ng mga bagong districts. Um, so, bumaba ako. So, tinanong ko lang. Uh, and uh, I think uh, medyo siguro na hurt si Ala kasi local bill siya. Mm -hmm. it, it's about tagig. So, uh, and that's why I also apologize because I said it's a local bill. I know you very feel, you feel very strongly mm -hmm. about it. Yung amin lang sana. Malaman lang namin kung ano because... Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, a concurrent resolution used to have, no, used to have a force of law. So we just wanted to make sure that everything was above board and everything was uh, done the right way. So, uh, with the assurance of the Senate President that it was, um, it was a mere a mere expression, uh, a mere sense of the Senate or sense of Congress, as a concurrent resolution, yan. Uh, hindi naman yan weight of a law, especially when the Supreme Court, I think a year or two ago, came out already with a ruling that concurrent resolutions are not laws. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, a law really has to go through the proper procedure, first reading, second reading, third reading, and, uh, and, uh, and, and such. Uh, I acceded. Kaya mm pumayag -hmm. na nan ako. Um, also, well, that ends well. Siguro, na-trigger lang siya doon, but... Uh, Ang akin lang naman is, uh, we must stick to the rules, we must stick to traditions, and I'm happy that uh, the good Senate President, Senator Cheese, was very uh, uh, magnanimous about it, and uh, he said, nga, in the next, in the next uh, session days, we will have more, uh, at least, consultation on that particular, on these particular issues. Mm -hmm. So, sir, beyond your expectation na abot sa ganun ho yung inyong uh, pagtatalo ni Senator Allen, and ano yung lesson learned from that incident, sir? I think more consultation. Um, mm -hmm. Kasi wala, wala naman problemang makipag-usap sa hapon, di ba? Mm -hmm. um, pwede naman, and I'm not talking about Alan alone. I think mm -hmm. for all the members, I think it's good that we have more consultations uh, being done. We have not had a um, caucus mm -hmm. uh, in a long time. So, uh, iba siguro yung leadership skills ni Senate President Cheese, iba yung mm -hmm. sa akin, kasi I'm a consultative leader, di ba? So, Bago ko ilabas kasi sa plenario, yung mga discussions na ito, mm -hmm. nagko-consensus muna kami sa loob ng, mm -hmm. um, ng uh, uh, Senator's Lounge. So, 
of course, I respect the leadership uh, of mm. the Senate President and mm. his, that's his leadership style. Mm-hmm. Pero I think we would avoid this pag mm. medyo may more consultation. Yun lang mm. naman kasi. Mm. Uh, ako, ayoko yung biglaan. Ayoko lang yung biglaan na may mga bills na take up na hindi po natin alam. I actually, I actually, mm. <coughs> the beginning of his, if I'm not mistaken, the beginning of the term of Senate President Jesus Cudero, I, made mention on that on the floor that mm-hmm. we need to have the agenda of the week, agenda mm-hmm. of the day mm-hmm. para makapag-aral po kami lalo na sa local bills. Mm-hmm. Kasi although local bills po siya, uh, you know, we represent the whole country. So even if I'm from Bukidnon but being an elected senator from the Republic of the Philippines, even local bills, we'd like to know. Kasi for example, baka uh, additional holidays yan, mm-hmm. uh, working holidays, or bills that need budgetary requirements like creation of new engineering districts na navivito na nga ng Malacanang. So we want to be guided na these bills uh, be told to us prior to taking it up on the floor na, na hindi po namin nalalaman. So uh, maganda naman ang usapan namin ni Senate President Escudero mm-hmm. and he promised that uh, with the majority floor leader they'll make sure that uh, this information is available to everyone. Mm-hmm. So we can expect more consultation na sir pagbalik ng session para maiwasan yung ganitong insidente. I hope so. That was my appeal. Uh, mm-hmm. That was my appeal to the leadership. Mm-hmm. Any related question, no more, about the heated arguments? Okay, may Ann. Sir, naka, sir, naka ilang focus kayo since ano po si SP Chief? Wala pa. Mm. Wala pa. And you took this up with him after yung puzzle minion center up. <coughs> Did you ask him, let's have more focus or meetings before the session? Yes. Uh, remember, we had a huddle uh, after... I think after our heated uh, altercation on the floor, uh, nag-pause muna si Senate President Scudero. Tinawag niya kami sa isang kanto sa harap. Nag-uusap kami. Sabi nga niya sa akin, parin, since 1998 na tayo magkasama. Mm-hmm. Ang tagal-tagal na natin magkaibigan. Di ba? Ba't pa tayo mag-aaway-aaway? Sabi ko, sabi ko naman sa kanya, uh, no, agree. Agree ako dyan. And uh, it's not in my nature and character. Alam niyo naman ako. It's not in my nature and character mm-hmm. na makipag-aaway. Um, sabi ko na sa kanya, maybe we could have more consultations about this. At least let us know uh, when these bills arise so that we have an idea. Kasi kung nalaman ko lang naman na ganito nga ang issue dun sa tagig, di, I would have supported uh, 1,000% no, uh, our colleague from tagig. Uh, yun lang kasi, usapin kasi is technical. It was about uh, creation of districts and creation of new, I think, uh, positions for council. Which, if you look at the, the nature of how it's done, it's by law. Constitutional yan eh. You, if you want to create a new district, it's by law. Even proportioning, eh? even proportioning districts is by law. If you want to carve out, you want to add, by law din yan eh. Pero sabi nga niya na it's just a sense of the Congress. So, kasi wala na siyang time. Wala na time. Filing na po next week. So, okay naman. I acceded because, you know. Mm-hmm. My heart, my heart is like that. I was, <laughs> the, my inherent character is to be that way. But yun nga lang, sana may more, may consultation lang. So sabi nga ni Chis na, uh, he will make sure that it will be, or the members will be informed if things like this happen. And he agreed to more consultations and caucuses pagbalik po ng session, sir. May ganong promise ba? Nag-usap kami kahapon na mag-usap kami. So... <laughs> Uh, he said na when we get back, uh, ano, during the break, he wants to meet with me now. Mm-hmm. Go one-on-one daw kami. Over what, sir? You mean? Um, these issues, like more consultations, mm-hmm. uh, um, how we can improve, I guess, the camaraderie within the senators. Mm-hmm. So, yan ang pinag-usapan namin. So, sir, aside dun sa consultation, iwasan din sana daw ba ito kung maagang na-file yung concurrent resolution ni Senator Allen? Kasi parang last minute eh. Kung kailan patapos na yung... <laughs> Tama na siguro yung discussion okay. na yun kasi <laughs> magsasagutan pa kami ni Allen okay. yan. I think, I think we can move on from that. Um, mm-hmm. But definitely the moral of the story is with the leadership, not with Allen, we're okay with Allen, but mm-hmm. with the leadership and the majority leadership is that uh, there should be more... Not just consultation, more information given uh, mm-hmm. prior to take up things, taking up things on the mm-hmm. on the floor. Mm-hmm. Um, so you lamang, and I think um, we have that understanding that when bills and resolutions taken up on the floor, um, to give us leeway and time uh, to study and discuss these measures. Wag natin na 
madaliin. Mm-hmm. Sir, na-mention nyo regarding dun sa ch- meron nga additional. Asa, oh, sige. Mabel. Yes. Hello. Yesterday lang po sabi po kasi ni Sen Nancy na um, bakit kasi hindi na lang gumawa ng bill about the redistricting mismo. Kasi that's how it's supposed to go anyways. I think with your respect to Alan, in fairness to him, um, the decision came up maybe about a year ago. There has been kasi a moratorium with Congress. If you notice, wala po tayong naipapasa na bills uh, on with, uh, uh, redistricting or new mm-hmm. districts. Wala. Not mm-hmm. a single one. Uh, since the in- coming 19- this 19th Congress. Mm-hmm. I think uh, uh, Speaker Martin Romualdez has put mm-hmm. a uh, temporary uh, moratorium mm-hmm. on tackling of bills. Kasi this is what I heard on the grapevine. You can mm-hmm. confirm with him uh, and, and the House. Is medyo marami ang, mm-hmm. ang districts. So I think, uh, uh, I think they put a uh, I would say a uh, temporary moratorium, an, uns, an undisclosed moratorium on uh, <laughs> on uh, uh, filing of new districts. Districts, mm-hmm. and I hope that that in the twentieth Congress they'll open it up. Because, for example, mm-hmm. Samin Sabukid non, mm-hmm. uh, we have four districts, but we have about almost one point five million vote. We have almost one point five million population na, mm-hmm. so we can add one more district sa province of Bukid non. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I'm hoping that we can do that uh, next uh, next uh, Congress. Mm-hmm. So and many others, kasi no malaki na no malaki population yeah, so natin. So hindi may wasa yung hindi may wasa another talaga. district. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, may dar- darating din ang panon, baka maging four hundred yung congressmen because of the constitutional requirement of. Uh, 250,000, no? 250,000 population mm-hmm. per district. Eh, lumalaki na lumalaki yung mm-hmm. buong Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. So, I hope they lift that uh, uh, moratorium, moratorium uh, next uh, Congress. At lahat ng proposed bill tungkol sa creation ng district nang gagaling sa house yun. Sa yes. Uh, uh, that is treated like a local bill. and mm-hmm. uh, Thank you. It's treated like a local bill and uh, definitely it has to emanate from Congress. Kaya nga yung amin, Pag mag-file kami ng, let's say, creation of a new district, nasa Committee on Rules referral yan. It will be mm-hmm. referred to the Committee on Rules. Mm-hmm. All local bills will be referred muna to Committee on Rules unless it's already approved in the House and transmitted to the Senate. That is the only time that we can transmit that to the, co- the committee uh, in charge. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that's the reason why maybe uh, si Alan medyo, he asked the... Uh, Ask the COMELEC to figure out something, not to figure out a formula para hindi naman ma-displace yung mga taga-embo. Mm-hmm. So hindi ma-disenfranchise yung mga taga-embo, sir? Well, well that was his appeal sa resolution niya. Mm-hmm. So whether the COMELEC, COMELEC will... Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. But if you ask, yeah, it's up mm-hmm. to COMELEC to, mm-hmm. to make that decision. Mm-hmm. Sir, you said uh, yung issue regarding change of Senate leadership is normal every session break. Does it mean meron po laging nag attempt or meron lang talaga nagpapakalat ng chismis? Alam mo, nung panahon pa ni, nung majority leader po ako ni no, Senator Enrile pa. Uh, nung panahon pa ni Senator Enrile, when I was majority leader, uh, I think it was the 14th Congress. Mm-hmm. I'm mistaken. 14th Congress. And then, um, after which I became majority leader for Senator Soto, Marami nang usap-usapin na... Laging gano'n. Uh, oh, naalala ko nung panahon ni Senator Enrile, may haka-haka, but there were no numbers. And I was a freshman senator, so hindi ko pa alam paano mag-react dito sa mga ganito mm. klaseng mga pangyayari. I used to wait down all the time with Senator Edangara, who was my mentor. Mm. And always says, ay naku, mix palagi yan. Pag end of, uh, pag start of break, nagkakaroon ng um, Rumor. rumors. Uh, of I remember during the time of uh, Tito, so- Tito Soto, Tito Sen, uh, nung sa family issue, uh, mm-hmm. na talagang nag- matagal ang discussion dun sa family, mm-hmm. di ba? Uh, nagkaroon din ng usapin ng ako. who at the time. I, I think I'm, maybe nobody knows this. Bakit, uh, Against uh, former uh, Senate President uh, Tito Soto? Yes, uh, mm-hmm. I think... Kasi na involved I just na I just opened it. Oh, kasi <laughs> I just spilled the, I just spilled something that was not in the public's eye before. But even during that time, uh, mm. di ko na babangkatin kung sino pero may lumapit sa akin mm-hmm. um, asking me to if I was um, interested taking over the post Ay, of no, senator. Pero kaya mag ESP sir. Yes. Mm. And um, I will not mention who it will be who it was, but. I told them flatly, no, I can't mm-hmm. do that to my to my SP because mm-hmm. as majority leader, you have the trust and confidence of the Senate president. So 
being his general on the floor, uh, I declined. I politely declined. But at, even at that time, there was already, uh, and alam ni Senator Soto yan, mm -hmm. uh, there was already uh, moves to unseat him because of the very controversial, uh, at that time, mm -hmm. uh, formally uh, And they involved issue. some executive officials, sir. Yes. So, mm -hmm. alam niyo na, anong mm -hmm. mangyayari doon. And But it didn't prosper because mm -hmm. yung grupo namin, yung seatmates, solid kami sa kanya eh. Mm -hmm. At that time, the seatmates was eight. Mm -hmm. We were eight. Kasama dyan si Senator Gordon. Kasama namin sa seatmates. So, it was the six of us now, plus Senator Angara, which was uh, seven, plus Senator Gordon, eight. Mm -hmm. So, solid yung grupo namin noon. And at that time, wala silang mabuo dahil solid yung walo. Mm -hmm. Um... And, and I said, as long as we stick together, wala po mangyayari kay Tito Sen. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, he graduated from the Senate in 2022. Mm -hmm. uh, and then yun, ako na pong nag-take over. And then even during my time, after the PI, may usap-usapin na rin na, yung People's Initiative, may usap -usap usapin na rin na, tanggalin ako. Mm -hmm. And then, and then during the hearings of Bato, mm -hmm. ganun din, lalong umugong yung, yung mga balita mm -hmm. na tatanggalin din ako. So, It's a normal occurrence, guys. I think if you are Senate President, um, don't be too comfortable in your seat. Mm -hmm. As Senate President, you should always be right. ready at all times. To uh, be replaced. To be replaced or to be, how do you, you say this? Um, to respect the decision of the majority. Because mm -hmm. to be replaced, pangit pakinggan eh. Mm -hmm. I think um, the majority, kasi when you have uh, 12 to 13, well, in this case 13, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, no, uh, members who don't want you there anymore, then you have to just respect the decision mm -hmm. of the majority. Mm -hmm. You're at the uh, beck and call of the majority at that point in time. So, mm -hmm. um, my advice to uh, Senate presidents, uh, current and future, is that mm -hmm. never warm up too much on your seat. Never uh, be too um, attached to your office. Lalo na office at taas. Kaya na yun, wala pa akong opisina, napagawa pa akong opisina. Naging squatter po ako sa sarili natin tahanan. So, uh, and uh, when I was majority floor leader, if you noticed, I never moved to the sixth floor. Mm -hmm. uh, nung majority floor leader po ako, I stayed in my room sa fifth floor. Kasi alam ko at any time, pwede ka na matanggal, mm -hmm. eh dyan ka lang sa opisina mo uh, mm -hmm. sa fifth floor. So sir, yung advice niyo na yun sa sino mang Senate President ay based in yung naging experience. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, just, do your, just do a good job. I mm -hmm. always said na, alam mo sabi ko palagi na uh, the Senate Presidency, primus inter pares yan eh. You're only the first among equals. Mm -hmm. In other words, lahat po tayo ay equal. Ano ka lang, nangunguna ka lang, pinili mm -hmm. ka lang bilang Senate President. But as fast as they give it to you, they, it's also that fast they can take it away from you. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is important is uh, uh, your steadfast conviction on how to uh, help the Filipino people at that mm. particular short period of time. Paano natin matutulungan ng taong bayan, yung mga ad adikay natin, yung mga advocacies ng, ng uh, Senado. And of course, mm. they have to protect also the image of the institution. Mm -hmm. Yun nga, Napakahalaga yan. Yun nga, sir. Is it bad or good? Makabubuti ba ang makakasama sa imahe ng Senate bilang institution na laging may cool rumors? Kaganyan, konti pa lang o may clip pa lang yung uh, pamumuno ni Senate President Escudero, pero lagi na lang may cool rumors ngayon, sir. Ano yan? Sabi ko nga, ito na sinabi ko kanina, it's, a, it's a, an occurrence every break time. Mm -hmm. uh, pero as far as I'm concerned, um, wala namang... Wala naman ako nakikita ng papel, wala naman nakapirma. So, the Senate kumakaw, President, sir. oh, that's wala kumakausap sa akin. The Senate President should just continue focusing on his work at hand. And I think I appreciate his answer na sinasabi niya na trabaho lang ako mm -hmm. at kung ayaw na nila sa akin, wala namang problema. You know, it was very, very, uh, 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 being very objective that way, not subjective. So, uh, we appreciate that with the Senate President. Mm -hmm. So, uh, move, we just continue our work. Mm -hmm. just continue. Malapit na lang ano eh. Malapit na lang yung election. Yeah, uh, for example, yeah. pagbalik natin, budget na po siya. Uh, we have about maybe uh, one month mm -hmm. uh, till we tackle the budget. After that, 
Babalik kami ng January. Into February. Break three weeks balik. lang yun. Three mm-hmm. weeks lang yun. We come back uh, second week of January. We come. We finish first week of Feb. Mm-hmm. Break na naman yun ng three week. Ano uh, no? Three uh, two months siguro dahil sa kampanya. Uh-huh. Yeah. So balik kami ng babalik kami ng uh, uh, May. I think after the second week of May. After no, third mm-hmm. week of May. After one week after the elections, mm-hmm. and then uh, we have only two weeks mm-hmm. of work. After that, uh, handa na po tayo sa bagong oh, 20th Congress. Is, oh, yeah, and, and also leadership. No? All bets are off kasi kasi may, uh, pagdating sa Senate Presidency at the time, all bets are off yeah. because you have a set of 12 new senators. Yes, mm-hmm. So yung 12 new senators, pipili talaga ng, ng uh, bagong Senate President. It could be Senator Cheese or it could be anyone else. I mean, you have uh, incoming senior members like yeah. Soto. Uh, Tito Soto, I'm sure, will win. Mm-hmm. Uh, Senator Ping Lakson, I'm sure, will win. Mm-hmm. So you have incoming, uh, uh, of course, old-timers. Mga I don't want to say they're old, but the Mga veterans. Veterans. Uh, veterans. Uh, ako ng <laughs> <laughs> Mga veterans no, na babalik dito sa Senado. Mm-hmm. So, may, Anne, may follow-up question. Sir, isa lang. May usapan kayo sa seatmates group na ganon na um, should there be any talks of a coup, you will not support it. Because anyway, mag election na rin naman a few months from now. May ganun ang, ba? Wala naman kaming usapan ng ganyan. Pero ang usapan namin is all for one, one for all. So, we stick together. Uh, the six of us. We'll continue to stick together. And your group is satisfied naman? The... Nakakalat na nga eh, di ba? Yung... Mm-hmm. Yung pag ano ni pag uh, accept ng Legion uh, Legion de Honor ni, uh, ni no, Senator, Senator Lauren, Lauren lahat na nagbigay ng speech sa seatmates. Uh-huh. Tapos kahapon, ano yun? Seatmates din lahat eh. Yung sa JIL. Ay, JIL. JIL. Seatmates din. Uh, uh-huh. Siyempre tumayo at uh, nagbigay po ng suporta. So all for one, one for all po kami. Uh-huh. Meron pa may oh, okay. Thanks, thanks. Thank Anyway, sir, regarding dito sa ano, yung preparation para sa incoming BARM parliamentary elections next year, do you have any concerns po? At ano yung assurance at what should be done to make sure na yung magiging election po e eh, fair, credible, and peaceful? Well, unang-una gusto ko pasalamatin ng Supreme Court dahil naglabas po sila ng decision at constitutional po ang BOL. Mm-hmm. For a long time, it was a sword of Democles hanging o- over our heads. Mm-hmm. As me, the sponsor and principal author, and of course, the members of the BARM. Um, alam mo, pag dineclare nilang unconstitutional, yan, back to the drawing board po tayo at baka magkakaroon ng kaguluhan doon. So, I'm very happy uh, that that was the decision of the Supreme Court uh, upholding the constitutionality of the Bank Samora Organic mm-hmm. Law. That is, for me, my biggest legacy, my most difficult mm-hmm. bill to pass and sponsor of all the bills that I have mm-hmm. had to sponsor. But, the fruits of our labor has finally come to uh, uh, to light. Mm-hmm. And uh, kahapon kasama ko sa isang forum yung CABSEC ng BARM at siya mismo nag-announce. Mm-hmm. Ang sabi po niya na uh, from being the poorest in terms of poverty incidences, uh, mm-hmm. uh, poorest region of the country, they're no longer the poorest. Mm-hmm. So, bumaba na po from 43%, no? ah, sorry, 52% Poverty mm. um, incidences to 23% mm. poverty incidence. Mm-hmm. Because of what? Peace. Kapayapaan. Sabi mm-hmm. ko nga, magkaroon lang po tayo sa, ng kapayapaan sa buong Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. Ang Pilipinas po ay boom na boom. Siguradong nalakas mm-hmm. ang ekonomiya ng Pilipinas. Lalakas po at nadami ang uh, industriya ng turismo at mga turista. So, mm-hmm. um, that's the fruits of our labor. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, uh, there was a decision also by the Supreme that Court decision. na i, i labas ang sulu mm-hmm. sa Bangsa Moro Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao. Initially, kung naalala ninyo sa mga veterans dito, hindi old-timers, si, mm-hmm. alam siguro ni Ati Selly dito nung pinag-usapan namin yung BOL, there was a, remember that there was a very a controversial yeah. uh, move on the floor mm-hmm. na maglagay ng opt-out provision. Mm-hmm. Si Senator Recto mm-hmm. nag-ano niyan eh, nag mm-hmm. uh, That was the request of uh, of uh, some political mm-hmm. leaders of the area na mm-hmm. pag sinabing no sa probinsya nila, labas nila labas, yung uh-huh. lapat may labas sa barm. Uh-huh. Pero ang ang punto kasi ng mga ideologues noon, lalo na sa peace process, pag ginawa mo po yun, then ma-disenfranchise sila. Mm-hmm. And uh, mawawala yung yung parang just and lasting 
formula which is really being part of an autonomous region where they they have autonomy when it comes to pre, uh, promoting their religion, mm -hmm. their culture, etc., mm -hmm. etc. And you have to remember that Sulu was the hotbed of insurgency yes. mm -hmm. in the 70s and 80s. Diyan na nagsimula ang MNLF, mm -hmm. which was before MILF. It predates MILF. Mm -hmm. Yung MILF kasi Maguindanao provinces yun. Eh. That's mm -hmm. mainland provinces. Mm -hmm. MNLF, MILF was Lanao and Maguindanao. Yung MNLF talaga was in the island mm -hmm. provinces. Mm -hmm. Kaya na yun ako ay worried na, na, yun, na hindi na po sila nakasama sa, sa BARM. BARM. Mm -hmm. Sana ma-monitor po ng national government yan na mm -hmm. hindi naman po magkaroon ng problema doon. Na baka magkaroon ulit ng instigation mm -hmm. uh, for, for whatever it is, no, uh, extremism. So, uh, when it comes to the elections, tuloy ang election nila. Uh, mm -hmm. Kasi hindi na natin ma-postpone yan. Remember that we, when we uh, extended the BTA, the Bangsa Moro Transition Authority, one extension lang yun. And under the law, it said there they must now be elected together, synchronized mm -hmm. with the national and local elections. Mm -hmm. Nandun sa batas yan. The only way you can, uh, not, the only way we can extend the election in BARM is if we approve another law that will extend them. Pero mm -hmm. at this point in time, hindi na po pwedeng mangyari yun. Mm -hmm. So, magkakaroon ng election. Ang only problem is, this is in franchise po, yung seven seats yung pitong uh, parliamentary seats uh, ng Sulu. Mm -hmm. Because we, under the uh, election code of uh, the bar parliament, seven allocations yung Sulu. Mm -hmm. Seven. Right now, under the BTA, they have 13 representatives from okay. Sulu. Mm -hmm. So, uh, ang payo ko sa kanila kahapon mm -hmm. sa isang forum, at ang payo ko po sa kanila na yun, kung nakikinig po ang parliament ng ng uh, BARM mm -hmm. is to immediately amend, if possible, make a quick amendment on their uh, election code. Mm -hmm. Because they passed an election code. Nakalagay dun kasi sa election code yung creation of districts mm -hmm. for the representation in the BARM parliament. Mm -hmm. That is not a creation of the BOL. Mm -hmm. The BOL granted the BARM parliament to do that. So let me be clear. Uh, dun sa BOL, Bangsa More Organic Law, Nilagay po namin dyan, ang Bangsamoro Parliament ang magdi-decide sa redistricting ng kanilang mga lugar. Mm -hmm. So, hindi na po kailangan bumalik sa Kongreso mm -hmm. para dito. Sila na lang. Kaya na po nila mag-emergency meetings, they can do marathon hearings the next few weeks para itong pitong uh, bakanting mm -hmm. upuan ng Parliament galing sa Sulu, Mapunong. pwede nila ibigay sa ibang distrito. Mm -hmm. I-proportion sa ibang distrito. Mm -hmm. Gets niyo? Para hindi bibigay na sa iba. Mm -hmm. Kasi under the BOL, you need 80, 80 members of the Bangsamoro Parliament. Mm -hmm. May finite number yan, 80 members. Mm -hmm. So, para hindi maging 73 oh, ang Parliament, mm -hmm. uh, which kulang ang representation, sayang naman yung nakalagay sa, sa BOL, mm -hmm. pwede nilang ibigay yan. Let's say, more representatives from the IP sector, women's mm -hmm. sector, or they can give one each per province, like mm -hmm. uh, one more to Lanao del Sur, uh, Maguindanao. So, pwede nilang i-proportionate mm -hmm. uh, pagbigay po niyan. Proportionate to these other uh, uh, sectors. And, of course, ge uh, geographical political units. Mm -hmm. So, yan ang pwede mangyari dyan. Pero sana nga, magalaw nila, I mean, ma-amend po nila yan kagad para maisama natin sa 2025 elections. But if not, the new parliament can decide the faith of the seven. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, they'll have to come up with a, an amendment to the election code. Kung masyado ng controversial na yun, i-amend yung election code nila. Mm -hmm. Pero sir, may commitment ba yung BARM parliament na magkakaroon sila ng gagawin nila yung ganong amendment, yung quick amendment sa election code nila? I have not spoke. To be honest, ah. I'll be lying to you if I said I gave an answer. So hindi ko pa sila nakakausap. Mm -hmm. Pero feeling ko, yan ang, yan ang direction nila. Mm -hmm. Feeling ko yan ang direction nila. Mm -hmm. No choice din sila. Hindi naman po pwedeng 73 lang po ang parliamentarians ng barn parliament. Um, Anong implication nun, sir? Kung hindi 80 at minus yung 7 ba? Well, sayang naman yung 7 seats. Uh -huh, okay. Sayang naman. They lose, uh, they can uh, have more representation for the different sectors. Mm -hmm. Sayang din yan. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, lilit po yung lilit po yung representation ng geographical political units. Kasi as is yung, uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, 
39 ilang may? 32 are allocated to legislative districts, 8 for sectoral uh, representation, and 42 party lists. Mm -hmm. So, yung voice of the people, yung direct voices of the people, makukulang dun sa parliament. Kasi syempre, these are elected in these uh, geographical political districts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Po ni Chairman George Garcia na hindi naman kailangan po noon yung 80, pwedeng 73 lang. Tanggalin na lang Correct. 7 from Sulu. But you would rather na they fill up the entire 80. Yes, because the Bangsamoro Organic Law, which is the Bible, uh, no, mm -hmm. sorry, correction, which is the Quran. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yan yung constitution nila yan eh. Mm -hmm. That's their constitution, that's their guide. Mm -hmm. uh, requires 80 members of parliament. Mm -hmm. So, um, but Chairman George is absolutely correct. I will, I will not disagree with him. Pwede po for these purposes, for these elections, pag hindi po na-amend yung kanilang electoral code, they can uh, proceed with the 73. Mm -hmm. And then after which, uh, they can amend the electoral code and baka sa 2028, ma-fill up na po yan. Or they can do a special elections. Uh, George, can we, they can conduct a special elections for the seven mm -hmm. parliamentary mm -hmm. seven seats. And also, for those people, kasi hindi naman ito na, Hindi naman malaki yung agwat ng yes and no sa Sulu. Mm -hmm. Buti sana kung 200 yung yes to BARM and 300,000 yung no, slim then, na. then we would understand. Pero mm -hmm. slim kasi yung margin. Mm -hmm. About 130 plus thousand yung nag yes to BARM, mm -hmm. 160 plus thousand ah. yung nag no to BARM. Oh, so, <coughs> dikit pa yun. So, mm -hmm. ibig sabihin, almost half the population of Sulu still want to be part of BARM. Mm -hmm. Now, to do that, they can go to Congress. Mm -hmm. The people of Sulu through its representation, kasi, alam mo, uh, nung nagkaroon po ng plebiscito, 2019 yan, 2019, mm -hmm. okay. Since 2019, medyo mainit pa yung usapin ng opt-in, mm -hmm. opt-out dun sa BARM. Mm -hmm. Gusto nila pumasok mo na mabas. From 2019, to 2024, napakalaki na po ang pondo na ibigay ng BARM sa Sulu. Sulu. Mm -hmm. Because of the block grant. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, it was enumerated yesterday mm -hmm. uh, by uh, uh, Kabsek Pendatum. Mm -hmm. Sabi niya, they gave almost 9 billion pesos mm -hmm. in terms oh. of infrastructure and projects to, mm -hmm. bar, uh, to Sulu alone. Mm -hmm. Sulu, and they had 5,000 employees mm -hmm. under... Uh, imagine that's 5,000 families under mm -hmm. BARM mm -hmm. na mawawala na po mm -hmm. dahil uh, sa pag uh, sa decision ng ating Supreme, Supreme Court. Court. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, yung teachers, yung nagbabayad ng sweldo nun, BARM na. Mm -hmm. So babalik po yan sa Video 9, DepEd. So kaya kausap ko rin si Sunny Angara, paano natin matutulungan yung mga sulu dahil kailangan i-reabsorb ng DepEd. Buti na lang, budget hearing na yun, <coughs> kailangan i-reabsorb ng DepEd yung 4,000 of that 5,000 teachers, mm -hmm. of the 5,000 employees of BARM, 4,000 of which are teachers. Mm -hmm. So, parang feeling ko, at this point in time, medyo nakita nila na may advantage na makasama sa BARM. Mm -hmm. Kasi aside from the LGU ng, uh, ng uh, or ira ng LGUs, natatanggap nila yung, yung hindi nawawala yung ira ng LGUs. Tuloy-tuloy yeah. po yan galing sa national government. Mm -hmm. Pero may dagdag sila mm -hmm. galing sa BARM government. So, with that said, all is not lost. Mm -hmm. Possible the, pa rin makasama. Possible sila makasama. How? Mm -hmm. If the two district representatives or even one district representative from mm -hmm. Sulu files a bill amending the BOL mm -hmm. to allow Sulu uh, or to allow a plebiscite once again for Sulu, di ba? To allow a plebiscite once again for Sulu to be part of BARM, we mm -hmm. in the Senate, if they approve it in the House, we in the Senate will approve, I'm sure, wholeheartedly that measure. Bakit? Um, under the BOL law, um, items like that, which is additional areas, po namin yan. There are certain provisions under the BOL law. Nakalagay doon. If more provinces want to join BARM, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. they may do so through a b enactment of a bill by both houses mm -hmm. and approval, and then we will set a plebiscite. The plebiscite will be set. Mm -hmm. So all is not lost. Hindi ibig mm -hmm. sabihin, imposible na. At yung mga tao sa Sulu, yung mga kababayan sa Sulu, hindi na po makakasama sa BARM. Mm -hmm. 
So, wag po sila mawala ng pag-asa. It's just a legislative process. We can tackle it. We can do it. I will be a senator until 2028, until mm -hmm. the 20th Congress. If they want to reacquire membership to the BARM, pwede pa po mangyari yun. Mm -hmm. Sir, na-mention niyo yung Black Grant. So, Opo. ano yung mukhang nagagamit naman ho ng tama dahil sabi niyo nga ngayon, dun sa BARM, yung poverty incident, bumabana. And then yes. and at the same time, sabi niyo nga yung sa Sulu, almost il ilang billion yung naibigay? Almost, according to them, for the last five years, almost 8 billion na ang nabigay nila dun. 8 to 9 billion. So, so under, malaki. So under BOL, sir, may assurance na yung Black Grant na ibibigay sa BARM hindi magagamit sa corruption? Actually, nakikita niyo naman... Uh, na yun, mm. hindi ganun kagrabe ang mm. issue ng corruption. Hindi katulad dun sa ARM. Yeah. Di ba sa ARM, yung mga mm. politiko, dinadala yung pera sa kinukuha sa land bank, mm. dinadala sa bay, mm. tapos may kwarto sila, yun yung land bank nila. They just get the money in the bayong and then, you know. So there was really very little transparency. Mm. And in fairness to the uh, Bangsamore Transition Authority and the Chief Minister and the Bangsamore government, yung criticism sa kanila, and if you can recall, the criticism was ang bagal-bagal nilang gumalaw sa mga mm. projects dun sa first two years. Kaya nga in-extend natin sila dahil sa pandemic. But yung first two to three years, bagal-bagal daw nila. The reason being, at kausap ko po uh, si uh, Minister Iqbal, ang sabi po nila sa amin na mabagal kami kumilos dahil nag-iingat kami sa pera. Mm. Takot sila eh. Remember that they're ideologues, so the people are looking at them. Sabihin ng tao, eh, pa, pareho lang kayo sa mga corrupt nung dati. So, mm -hmm. ayaw nilang mangyari yun. Mm -hmm. And under the BOL, we put two, two um, uh, checks and balances. What What is the two? We have an internal audit system, my internal auditor, my internal audit system, ang BOL under the COA, mm -hmm. which, uh, which asks them not only for post-audit but for pre-audit. In other words, kung may programa kayo sa isang lugar, mm -hmm. i-present nyo muna dun sa, sa um, uh, internal audit system nila mm -hmm. before it's actually approved mm -hmm. into actual implementation. And then after that, may post-audit po tayo sa ating COA. Hindi po tayo pumayag na ang COA nila ang, ang, ang mananatili. Mm -hmm. Ang sabi namin, no, kasi yung bio, yung black grant na yan, ay galing sa ating lahat dito sa kwarto mm -hmm. ito. Sa lahat ng withholding taxes ninyo, mm -hmm. ang sweldo ninyo, lahat ng buwis na binabayaran natin. That's the black grant comes from the 5%, 5% income of government mm -hmm. which comes from all of us. Mm -hmm. So we had the right. Sabi ko nga, hindi ako bumayag as author of BOL. Hindi ako papayag na wala pong say ang COA national dito. So, mm -hmm. yun yung mga checks and balances. Mm -hmm. And so, in fairness, wala na po akong narinig na ganung klaseng uh, nakawan na nangyayari nung, nung araw. So, uh, I think it's moving and working fairly mm -hmm. uh, efficient for and the people. And I, as you said, the numbers don't lie. Mm -hmm. The numbers don't lie, guys, from 53%, 53, 52% to now 23%. Mm -hmm. Ang laking drop no, ng poverty incidences. Mm -hmm. And uh, I see more investments coming in. I believe there's about 4 to 5 billion of new investments coming in now. Outside investments coming into BARM. There are many countries uh, like Malaysia, Indonesia that want to do halal tourism uh, dun sa barm. Ano yung halal tourism? Yung uh, paggagawa ng mga, for example, poultry farms, mm -hmm. uh, yung sheep farms, goat farms na halal. Mm -hmm. na kasi mahal ng lupa sa Malaysia, mahal ng lupa dun sa Indonesia. Dun nila tatayo yung mga farms at dadalin po yung, yung mga produkto dun sa, sa kanila mga uh, bansa. And vice versa also for tourism uh, mm -hmm. for the BARM area with our neighbors, the, our Muslim neighbors like from Brunei, uh, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Sir, uh, kasi may concern ka na pa, ano yung, what should be done para ma-prevent yung pinangangabahan nyo na extremism dyan sa Sulu? Kasi hotbed sabi nyo. I think immediately kailangan gumalaw ang gobyerno na hindi ma-displace yung 5,000 workers ng BARM. Mm -hmm. Alam mo yung 5,000 workers, 5,000 families yun. Kung 5 times that, that's 25,000 people. Na nawalan po ng uh, sweldo. This, this month, mm -hmm. September, was their last check from the BARM uh, government because of the uh, decision of the Supreme Court. So, national government has to step in immediately. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, sa plenary debates dito, tatanungin ko sa mga department na yan. Lalo na sa DepEd, mm -hmm. sa DA, DSWD. Yung mga 
uh, ayuda programs nila, kailangan mag-set up shop muli sila dun sa, sa Sulu. Kasi, and take over nila yung mga na-displace ng mga workers uh, in these different agencies of BARM. Kasi mm-hmm. BARM may ministry eh. May Ministry of Social Welfare and Development. Yan yung kanilang DSWD. So nung nawala po yung BARM, nawala din po trabaho yung mga Ministry of Social Welfare and Development. Sana ma-absorb ng DSWD yun. Yung teachers, 4,000. Mm-hmm. Ang nagsisweldo nun, BARM. Ngayon, ano na, uh, national government. Mm-hmm. Sir, ito naman, yung Department of Budget and Management has released 1 billion pesos to compensate victims of Marawi siege bilang taga Mindanao. Magandang development ba ito o maliit lang yung isang billion? To maliit, com- mm-hmm. maliit lang isang billion, my dear. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think uh, ang dami pong ilang tens of thousands ang, tens of thousands ang na-displace nung Marawi incidents. I would have wanted to see double the, the number, mm-hmm. double or triple the number, but we're thanking DBM Secretary uh, Mina pang, uh, pang, Pangandaman. Pangandaman because she's from uh, Marawi, she's from mm-hmm. Lanao. Um, la, uh, Maranao po siya. Mm-hmm. She's from Lanao del Sur for at least giving the initial fund of 1 billion. But hopefully in the next coming years, I ika nga parang may ka multi-year uh, release no? ng multi-year allocation at madadagdagan pa sana yung pondong iyan mm-hmm. uh, para magkaroon po ng uh, just and lasting uh, compensation for the Marawi siege victims. Mm-hmm. So konti lang makikinabang dun sir sa 1 billion? Mag- mag-compute tayo at uh, how many families were displaced and homes lost sa tingin ko medyo payat pa yan. Pero uh, pasalamat pa rin kami kay uh, Secretary Mina uh, na bilang isang Maranao at taga dyan ay nag-release po sila. Last year it was even smaller. I think the pe- previous years nag hundreds of millions na yan. Mm-hmm. A couple of hundred million. So at least now being one billion it broke the billion mark. So I hope that uh, next year it will be even more. Mm-hmm. Sir, I heard you have a book uh, regarding Bang Samoro Organic. Yes. You know, what is this? Siyempre, invited kayo niya na uh, we wrote a book together with my team. Uh, ito po yung talagang hirap na dinaanan namin sa pagpasa po ng Bang Samoro Organic Law. It was, uh, you know, the law itself took one year with uh, all these consultations from uh, the different provinces and historical tong mga consultations. Why? Because it's the first time na Walo, siyam, sampo na senador ang nandun. Mm-hmm. Usually, an out-of-town uh, hearings would be only one or two. Pero ito, talagang sampo. One, I think in Sambuanga, we were ten uh, senators at that particular point in time. So, it shows, it goes to show how important we felt the peace process was for uh, Mindanao. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, pati yung ano, pati yung mga uniqueness ng aming hearings. For example, yung bicameral conference committee namin ni at that time my counterpart, I was majority leader, I was newly elected majority leader. Si um, si Rudy Farinas, si Congressman Rudy Farinas was the majority leader at the time. Mm-hmm. A very well learned the bar top notcher na legal luminary. Alam mo, ginawa namin para hindi tayo mahirapan ay kasi ang dami contentious issues. Nag-breakout groups kami. What, I remember what hotel what that was hotel was that sa Ortigas? Crown. Hindi, Crown. Crown, Crown, Crown. Crown. It was a Crown uh, Plaza. Uh-huh. And then, nagka-breakout groups. So, I remember appointing Senator Sonia Angara, Senator, um, could you just answer? Senator Stan. Senator Stan calling. <laughs> Senator Sani Angara, Senator, uh, Frank Duilon and Senator Coco Pimentel, bipartisan talaga yung move, uh, that had, they headed the panel on the legal issues, on the uh, constitutionality of the BARM law. Mm-hmm. So parang ang nangyari is, uh, sila po ang nag-discuss nitong creation of the Bang Samoro, Supreme, uh, Bang Samoro High Court, mm-hmm. uh, the creation of the Sharia Courts, mm-hmm. the creation of, for example, the, the preamble, and uh, of course, the guiding principles of BARM. Mm-hmm. And then we... We appointed uh, Senators uh, uh, Lauren Legarda, Senator Risa Ontiveros, mm-hmm. Senator um, Nancy Binay to head the women and children's issues on mm-hmm. family, yung family uh, uh, issues of the Bangsamore Organic Law. So nagkaroon ng breakout groups, tapos may, may representative congressman din doon. Mm-hmm. After that, we met late hour of the night with the uh, uh, approved already by by uh, different subcommittees and then nag-meeting po kami we passed it we approved it 
Dito kami, dito, we, we moved back to the Senate. Mm -hmm. And remember that historic, na front page pa nga ng inquirer yun eh, yung historic picture na nag-iyakan lahat. Mm -hmm. When we have final approval of the Bangsamoro uh, bicameral conference committee report for ratification na kasi yun, mm -hmm. nag-iyakan sila dito. Pati ako umiyak. I have that picture in my office na umiyak po kami nung pinasap po namin yan. And uh, so we... What? We encapsulated that in a book, mm. and it's a photo book. So, baka nandun kayo kasi nandyan lang, marami. <laughs> kasi mga daming pictures nun eh. May mga media mm. din yun. No? Ini, nag, habang nag-i-interview po kayo ng, mm. ng mga politiko, nandyan mm. din kayo. Gaganda mm. ng pictures and basically narration of how we, we filed it. Mm. It started with Marawi Siege. We filed it. Stuff. Tapos naging journey po siya all the way down to, mm. even up to the plebiscite, mm. nung nanalo na po. Mm. Bang some organic. When is the launching of that book, sir? Fingers crossed December. So, mamboblot po ako sa inyo December. Let's have dinner uh, together with all, with uh, with uh, the guests, mm -hmm. and hopefully we can launch it by December. Na po. The mm -hmm. title of the book is Road to Peace. Uh -huh. So, sir, because of the barm, kasi napansin nga namin, wala na yung mga issue ng kidnapping. Jan sa wala na, di ba? Wala na mas. Because of the barm. Imagine ka karon ng turista na sa tawi tawi. Mm -hmm. Because of the barm, because you're getting combatants. Mm -hmm. And making them part of government. Yung mga combatant dante ay na nayon kawani ng gobyerno. So parang sila na mismo nagsasabi na wag tayong magkagulo dito, dahil mapapayat ay sa taong bayan at sa buong Pilipinas. They take it upon themselves. No, may parang may ano na sila, may stake na sila. They're now part of the solution, not part of the problem. Kaya yung dating siguro yung dating mga armed elements ay nayon sila na po ay member ng PNP. Member ng AFP, sila ay member ng BARM government, nasa BGMP na po sila. So, napakaganda ng kalalabasan. If you notice, we have not had, and knock on wood, I don't want to jinx it, but we have not had any major incident since the passage of the BARM law. Except siguro yung Marawi Bami, yung nasa MSU. Pero yung talagang extremist militant yun na galing pa sa abroad yata yung, yung training nun at yung, yung kasama dun sa pagsabog nun. But that was the only time mm -hmm. yung sa simbahan sa MSU. Either than that, there's been no major incursions, there have been no major clashes, except siguro paghahabol nila dun sa BFF. Which, mm -hmm. even now, mm -hmm. di ba, medyo tahimik na rin yung BFF kasi nag-reach out po yung MILF na peace panel sa kanila na magsama na lang tayo lahat. Anyway, uh, the national government has given us this kind of autonomy that they can be proud of. By the way, I'm happy to say, in all my uh, official visits, pumunta po ako sa speaker uh, ng parliament ng Great Britain, sa France, uh, National Assembly, uh, even the European Parliament, ang pinupuri po nila ang Bangsamoro at Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao. Mm. It has become a, uh, a case, mm -hmm. a, 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 a successful case study uh, for many countries who have this type of extremism, na separatist movement. Talagang unang-unang agenda, pasalamat sila. Na tinuloy po natin, pasalamat sila sa akin, the author po tayo, the sponsor, and that it's now being uh, a case study uh, for uh, many other places uh, for them to be able to succeed in the peace process. So, you're hoping eventually magiging tourist destination na po itong uh, mga probinsya under bar. Alam mo, Ate Sally, we've been to a lot of places in the country for election purposes. Alam nyo, ang pinakamagandang beach area ang bar. Mm. Ang mga beach sa Tawi-Tawi, pati sa Sulu, pink yung sand. Pink, pink. hindi white. Pink. Hindi white, medyo light pink. Umav. Na, na sand. Kasi may mga shells, I think there's shells there that are pinkish na shells na nagiging fine powder pink. Mm -hmm. um, ang gaganda, yung bonggao ng Tawi-Tawi, if you've never been to bonggao, it mm -hmm. is like Tahiti or the uh, uh, yung mga islands sa Micronesia. Ang ganda-ganda. So, if you're looking for um, like a like tourist mm -hmm. havens, mm -hmm. basta may kapayapaan, mm -hmm. Barm is the place to go. And of course, agriculture. The best place to plant bananas, pineapples, mm -hmm. corn, uh, um, and different kinds of uh, uh, high-value crops is barm.
Diyan na ako nakakita sa Maguindanao, sa Lano Sur, na tens of thousands of hectares na napaka-fertile ng soil, napakaganda ng, ng uh, napakataba ng lupa. Bilang isang licensed agriculturist, I would, I would uh, uh, say that it was one of the best areas to promote agriculture. Pero sir, makukover ba yung BARM dun sa sinusulong nyo na establishment ng cabinet cluster focus dun sa mga issues sa tourism industry or hindi? Doon kasama po. Kasama din kasama yun. Po yun. Mm. Kasi dun sa BARM, uh, sa BOL, uh, nailagay po natin ang mga programs of national government, hindi dapat mawawala din sa BARM. Mm. So for example, ang TUPAD, AIX, hindi dapat mawala sa BARM yun. Mm. So whoever even heads the, whoever heads the BARM, whoever chief minister they have, mm. it's still going to be part and parcel of the programs of national government. So kung may tourism uh, roadmap po tayo, kasama po yung BARM. Mm -hmm. Kasama po yung BARM. So sir, anong uh, open ba yung Malacanang to create a cabinet cluster? Yes, master? ang balita sa akin ni DBM Secretary Mina at Senator Ralph when I followed up with them, the President's very open to it. So actually, mamaya pupunta po ako sa Malacanang sa signing ng um, ating uh, Agricultural Smuggling, Anti-Smuggling mm -hmm. Act. So, I'll bubulong ko ulit kay Presidente na kung pwede mag-conduct po siya ng cabinet cluster for tourism. Mm -hmm. Sayang eh. That's a low-lying fruit. Kasi, uh -huh. papakita ko sa iyo, really quick, Apa. yung tourism, napakaliit ng big, ng ano niya sa GDP. Ang, uh, I think, less than 4% <coughs> uh, ang contribution sa GDP. Mm -hmm. Where in other countries like Thailand, mm -hmm. Malaysia, mataas. Indonesia, like Bali, mm -hmm. mataas po, double digits yung contribution ng tourism, tourism. sa GDP growth rate ng bansa. So, Sayang. Sayang. Mm -hmm. Sayang. I think we're all less than 5%. Mm -hmm. Less than 5%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Other issue? Uh, uh, John Ardonias from Business World. Hi, John. Uh, sir, this is concerning the South Korean free trade agreement. Oh, yes. And sir, uh, since South Korea wants to expand more of its car manufacturers in the Philippines with the agreement, since um, it would remove 5% of its import duties on these cars, how can the Philippines leverage this FTA uh, with the create more to attract more foreign investors? Well, the free trade agreement, which we ratified uh, this week, uh, we had uh, uh, no, we had uh, unanimous consent for this, um, will pave the way for more trade between Korea and the Philippines. Parang JPEPA po yan. Uh, magiging mas mura yung mga Korean goods, but at the same time, magiging mas accessible yung agricultural products natin doon sa Korea. That, that's, that was one of the first items on the agenda in the discussions of the trade talks with Korea na makakapasok yung mga pinya, bananas, mangoes, uh, agricultural products also directly into Korea with less uh, tariffs and less uh, protectionist measures of the Korean government. So, uh, malaga po yan. And of course, uh, we can now do more uh, trade in terms of uh, manufacturing of furniture, yung mga uniquely Filipino, mga tatak Filipino products dun sa Korea. Uh, it will also now open the way, uh, open or pave the way for Korean companies to come into the Philippines uh, to set up shop. Um, easier for the Korean businessmen also to get uh, business visas uh, under this uh, trade agreement. Um, so it will mean more jobs. Uh, talagang walang talo ang free trade agreement natin sa Korea. Ang tinutulak na lang natin na yun ang uh, European Union. So EU trade agreement, free trade agreement, and many others. No? Um, we're trying to also get a preferential trade agreement with the United States. Na as, of, as of now, wala pa. So, um, on the Create More, I'm happy to announce, because of the Create More discussions, it bore fruit already. and dami na pong uh, Japanese companies na papasok sa atin, yung mga Japanese companies na nandito na that were here, that wanted to relocate. For example, Itochu, uh, who owns Dole Philippines that actually employs 50,000 Filipinos. Uh, because of our amendment that um, as long as you are an export-oriented company in the Philippines that does not even, that does not need to be located in an IPA, which is uh, uh, like, for example, Clark, Subic, uh, uh, Apeco, Cesar. Mm -hmm. At nasa labas po kayo, katulad ng Del Monte, Dole, uh, mm -hmm. and other can, uh, companies, you will be also subject to the same, almost the same, no? um, uh, rules and regulations and benefits and, and uh, 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 
I'm looking for the word. I'm looking for the word. Uh, incentives that are given to the ones located in the IPAs. So because of that, hindi na alis ang itochu. We had a lunch. Binot nila ako sa Japanese lunch last week. Tuwang tuwa po sila, and they said that they are so mm -hmm. happy that they want to expand. So, mm -hmm. kaya nakikiusap sa akin sa bukid noon, kung mm -hmm. pwede ba nandang daw sila mag-expand, tatayo daw sila ng uh, 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 planta. It's a box, uh, it's a uh, box plant. Yung boxing, yung pag-crate uh, plant. Paggawa po ng mga crates and boxes nila. Which, uh, before, dahil nga walang amendment sa crate law, problematic sila dahil sinacharge sila ng VAT for the packaging. Mm -hmm. But because of this new crate law, now they can produce the packaging here instead of importing it. Imagine, it makes no sense. That sa dating regime, before the crate law was passed, the new crate more. For example, exporter ka, my dear. Nag-export ka ng glasses. Yung nalagyan ng glasses niyan, local. Local. China charge local packaging. Icha charge ng BIR yung local packaging. Nai-export mo na naman. So, hindi naman yan local consumption. Ang sabi ng BIR, di mag-apply ka ng VAT refund. Uh -huh. Eh, yung BIR naman, di naman na may ng refund yun. Kasi uh -huh. mawawala yung collection nila. Uh -huh. Ang ginagawa nila, eventually, sinasabihan nila yung mga exporters, take us to court. So, yung Itochu, for example, Dole Philippines, uh -huh. I have, they have 5 billion pesos spending on Sa the CTA, Court of uh -huh. Tax Appeals. Tax Kaya parang, imagine, they lost 5 billion in revenue. So, uh -huh. talagang nainip, nainip sila. Gusto na nila umalis. Uh -huh. So, under this new law, yung manufacturer na yung cover ng iyong eyeglasses mm -hmm. ay now VAT-free. Basta i-export mo yan. No need of refund. Mm -hmm. So, na buhay muli yung export industries dito mm -hmm. sa ating mansa with the Create More mm -hmm. uh, provisions. And I'm very happy and proud of our contribution. And also, remember that I was the one who was pushing for this as SP. I gave a speech on the podium mm -hmm. na yung mga uh, Japanese uh, 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 exporters are complaining. We took when we went to Japan to meet Prime Minister Kashida, yanda ng bukang bibig niya na may problema yung mga Japanese uh, exporters dito sa Pilipinas at natatakot siya ay umalis sila. And when he came here in his speech, he also mentioned that he was very appreciative of the fact that we are trying to uh, solve that problem with the Create More Bill. So I'm very proud and honored to have been <clears throat> part of that journey and I'm proud of also of our sponsor, Senator Sherwin Gachalian, who's a member of our group. Mm -hmm. so, John. Yes, sir. Okay. Follow up question. Sir, uh, the Senate recently passed the VAT refund for tourists bill as well. And Senator Coco um, opposed this measure. So, what, what do you think the government should do to uh, attract more tourists after this passage? Actually, I'm very much in favor of that. Kasi, lat ng umiikot sa buong mundo, mga katulad nyo, magbabakasun po kay sa Japan. Mm -hmm. I'm sure marami kayo magbabakasun ng Japan or nakabakasun sa Japan. Dun means mo sa shop. When you go to Uniqlo, and I'm mm -hmm. sure everybody goes to Uniqlo here, um, when you go to Uniqlo, um, kagad-agad hingi nila sa yung passport mo. Pag may passport ka, ima-minus nila kagad. I think 10% or 8% of the cost of your goods. Do na mismo with the passport. Ganun kabilis. Ibang bansa sa airport. I think if you're in Europe and uh, some other countries, airport mo kukunin yung detox. It's called a detox. Kaya ang daming tourists na pupunta sa mga lugar nito to shop. Dito sa atin, if you're a tourist, napakamahal ng bilhin dito. Napakamahal. Why will you shop here? You cannot do shopping tourism or uh, what you call ano tourism na yung commercial tourism to go to a place and start shopping. So, I'm in favor of that. My only question lang to Senator Win Gachalian, yung ating chairman ng Committee on Ways and Means, yung hindi po siya, yung sa implementation, na hindi po siya maaabuso. Di ba? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kasi, baka mangyari, uh, bibili ka ng goods, mm -hmm. and then, bibili ka ng bag, at sasabihin mo sa tindera kung kaibigan mo yung may-ari, mm -hmm. sasabihin mo na, tanggalin mo na lang yung VAT niyan, bigyan mm -hmm. mo na ako ng VAT discount, ilabas mo na lang na parang foreigner ako. Mm -hmm. Ganun, di ba? Ang dating. But, uh, I was assured by Senator Gatchalian that they put enough safeguards kasi hindi pwede daw uh, unlike Japan, mm -hmm. it cannot be from point of origin where you buy. It will have to be in the airport. Mm -hmm. So, ang labanan dun is sa airport. Mm -hmm. Lalo na sa customs. Kasi maglalagay sila ng detox ng Department of Finance. Mm -hmm. Magkakano sila ng detox office. 
you have to prove that you're not a resident. Mm -hmm. You're a non-resident uh, uh, Filipino. Even if you're Filipino, you're a dual citizen, mm -hmm. you live abroad. You live, mm -hmm. let's say, in the U.S. or uh, uh, Europe. Pwede, mong, pwede ka mag ng detox. But you have to, to prove that you're a non-resident. Mm -hmm. So, ang mahalaga dyan. So, I think that's one of the safeguards. Kasi kung magkaroon po ng corruption yun, doon na sa airport na mangyayari yun. Mm -hmm. Port of exit. Mm -hmm. Or the port of, yeah, port of exit. So, uh, but I think that will boost a lot mm -hmm. in terms of tourism. Kasi makikita na nila na, wow, uh, pwede pala mag-detox dito sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. uh, marami tourist na darating dito. Um, as long as we are competitive with our, with our, with our goods. Mm -hmm. Kasi yun ang sinabi, kausap ko yung watch yung mga watch sellers, mm -hmm. yung sa Ivan Yao ng Lucerne, sabi nga niya, walang namimili ng relo sa amin dito. Lahat sila pumupunta sa uh, Japan, then, then, sa then, Europe, then. kasi may detox, mas mura. Mm -hmm. So, lugi, palugi sila. Talagang mm -hmm. walang namimili ng uh, goods dito. So, with this law, pwedeng dito na sila mag Dito sila mag-shopping. Kasi, sayang din yan. You have 5 million tourists mm -hmm. uh, that go to our tourism, desti tourism destinations or tourist destinations. That 5 million tourists can also shop. Mm -hmm. Diba? So, may tourism potential. Baka madagdagan yung turista natin. Sir, before NIMPA, ano pa lang update dun sa proposed legislated wage hike for private sector? Ano nang chance sa daw noon na maging batas? Or Alam malam? mo, uh, oh, oh, nga, lumampas lang na yung May 1. Di ba hmm. yung sigaw ng mga mga gawa natin Opo. ay uh, itaas ang sahod. Meron na po tayong approved Senate legislative uh, legislated wage hike. And I thank Senate President Jesus Cordero for supporting it. Mm -hmm. uh, naglabas din siya ng statement, I think in your forum, in other mm -hmm. forums and fora, that he supports the 100 peso uh, wage hike and it stays. He says it remains as a uh, uh, priority of the Senate. So, umapila kami sa House, di ba? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they represent districts na may mga manggagawa, na mm -hmm. mga uh, daily wage earners. Sana itulak po nila mm -hmm. uh, ito. At uh, uh, if they want a higher legislative wage hike, so be it. We mm -hmm. will support. Mm -hmm. um, if they want it a bit lower, okay lang. Basta ipasa nila. Mm -hmm. Para meron talagang welcome respite. May, mm -hmm. may makahinga po ang ating mga manggagawa. Mm -hmm. So, at umapila ako sa taong bayan na kausapin ang kanila mga kongresista. Mm -hmm. Di ba sa Amerika ganun? Pag may mm -hmm. problema ka, Take it up with your congressman. Mm -hmm. So, sa ating mga manggagawa, take it up with your congressman. Wala, tapos na kami dito sa Senate. You don't need to come here. You don't need to rally outside. Pinasa na po namin yung legislated wage, legislated wage hike sa amin dito sa Senado. Ang apela po namin, go to your congressman. Lapitan niyo po yung mga kongresista ninyo. Kausapin niyo po sila. Yugyugin mo po ang batasang pambansa na kung pwede ipasa din po nila ang kanilang version ng legislated mm. wage hike. Mm. Para sa ganun, magkaroon po ng uh, komportabling buhay. Yung ma mabubuhay na mm. matiwasay ang ating mga uh, manggagawa. It's, mm. They need a living wage and not the wages that they're receiving today. Mm. Okay, Nimfa. Hi, Other sir. issue? Sir, Hi, um, currently meron pong US missile launcher dito. Dinala dito noong April. Um, ginamit sa Balikatan and um, sabi ni um, AFP Chief of Staff Browner, gusto niya sana permanente na dito and then si Defense Secretary Gilbert Teodoro sabi, neither confirm nor deny if those uh, of, if that missile launcher would be here indefinitely. So sa inyo, anong tingin nyo dito bilang passionate din, advocacy rin nyo yung yes. pagpapalakas ng defense posture natin. Kailangan ba natin yun? Practical and safe po ba na meron tayong um, ganyang Misa launcher with China protesting and uh, okay, at kailangan hubang i-disclose kung uh, nandito ba, ba talaga yung Misa launcher? Ako sa aking pananaw, personal na opinion, dapat talaga manatili siya dito habang hinaharas pa tayo sa West Philippine Sea. <clears throat> habang lumalapit ng lumalapit ang China sa mainland Philippines. Uh, recent uh, reports, they were about 25 nautical miles from the Philippines nun sa research vessel nila. Illegal po yan. Hindi po sila humingi ng, uh, ng permiso sa ating bansa or at least coordination sa ating uh, officials ng ating bansa. Uh, that could have led to a misencounter. That could have led to a uh, very dangerous situation, intense situation sa West Philippine Sea. 
habang ganun ka provocative ang China. ang China then we welcome all the support we welcome all the support kasi hindi natin kaya mm-hmm. wala nga tayong coconut bum pagkatapos dito pupunta ako sa ADA uh, yung defense Dita. show sa sa world trade, world world trade. trade. titingnan natin yung Uh, mga iba't ibang armamento na gali sa iba't ibang bansa at siguro maglalaway na naman ako para sa ating mm-hmm. Philippine Army, Navy, and Air Force. At uh, mahihinayan po tayo dyan sa mga makikita natin. So, yes, I am in favor of uh, keeping the these uh, medium-range uh, defensive weapon systems. Remember, mm-hmm. it's a defensive weapon system. It's not an offensive weapon system. Under the Constitution, Constitution naman natin, pinagbabawal natin ng nuclear weapons. Mm-hmm. So definitely, dapat walang nuclear weapons sa ating bansa. That is a prohibition under the Constitution. Pero defensive, protective, uh, dome-type systems, like the Iron Dome, please, please install them here. Please, let's start investing into that. Nakita po natin yung Iron Dome na nagpo-protect na yun sa Israel, di ba? Sa mga missiles from Hezbollah and uh, Gaza, uh, from the Hamas. So, uh, nakakatulong po, protektahan ang kanilang uh, bansa. So, uh, at this point in time, due respect to our neighbors, China, as long as they do not stop the provocative nature, provocative actions that they are doing in the West Philippine Sea, I am in favor of retaining defensive missile systems in the Philippines as a deterrent for any future uh, provocative action. Mm-hmm. Sir, dapat ba maging transparent din ang gobyerno natin? Sabihin kung nandito nga yung missile Pero launcher? actually, Nympha, uh, last budget, di ba, kaya naging issue sa akin yung bukol-bukol dyan sa budget na yan. Mm-hmm. Naging issue sa akin dahil naglagi po tayo ng almost 12 billion sa AFP and mm-hmm. Coast Guard. And mm-hmm. part of the 12 billion was actually missile systems. Mm-hmm. protective missile systems, anti-ship and anti-aircraft missile systems. Mm-hmm. So, nag-aanda din po yung AFP, pero kulang pa rin. Kasi ang ginastos yata nila yung mga 4 billion, ilan pong missile systems ang mabibili niyan if you convert it into dollars. So, um, whatever help our assistance, our allies can give us, why not? For example, Japan gave us radar systems to detect uh, uh, this type of intrusion. So, you don't hear angry angry voices from any sector about these radar systems. But radar systems is not enough. Nakita po natin, papasok na, eh, anong gagawin natin? Dadasal na lang tayo. Hindi naman pwede yun, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kailan nakikita natin, papasok na, di, depensa natin ang sarili natin. So, yan ang importante. Pero, sir, yes. isa na lang. O, ilaunch ang manananggal. <laughs> <laughs> so, isa na lang, but anong gagawin po natin uh, with China protesting? Nagagalit sila, although sila mismo nagtetest din ng kanilang misa launch. Well, we'll just tell them, stop harassing us. Can't we live peacefully in the West Philippine Sea? Can't we coexist? Can't we patrol our own, part, our own exclusive economic zone granted to us by the arbitral ruling of the uh, UN? So, until they leave, uh, not, until they stop their provocative action, mm-hmm. we should welcome assistance from our allies. Pero sir, yung iba kasi sinasabi, baka makaprovoke lalo ito sa China. Eh, pinoprovoke naman tayo araw-araw, pinoprovoke tayo. Ano Sila yung nagpoprovoke? Sila yung nagpoprovoke. Oh. Tapos nagagalit pa sila kung nandun kayo, mga media nanonood. Di ba, pinipicturean pa kayo eh. Di ba, pinipicturean pa kayo. Para kayo ng mga spies. You guys are international spies for videoing them. Kalokohan yung mga... Mga Bef- accusations nila. Before Robert, so sir, dito nga sa nangyayaring tension sa West Philippine Sea, conforme pa ka ba na binawasan daw yung proposed budget para sa AFP Modernization Program for 2025? I'm extremely upset and uh, I'm extremely upset and disheartened mm-hmm. to find out na binawasan yung pondo nila, lalo na sa Modernization Program. Mm-hmm. I think ang nilagay lang po nila sa Modernization Program is a measly 25B. Yes, yes. From Anong mabibili mo sa 25B? That's $500 million. What can you buy with $500 million? Mm-hmm. Yung aircraft systems na kailangan natin is, I think, uh, $20 to $30 million per aircraft. So, mm-hmm. 10, 12 aircraft alone is ubus na po yung 25, yung 25 billion mm-hmm. sa labing dalawang aircraft na kailangan po natin, barko. Mm-hmm. Yung Coast Guard, kailangan nila ng malalaking barko. Mm-hmm. Kailangan nila ng offshore patrol vessels. When I say offshore, pwedeng mga isang buwan na nasa dagat. 
Kasi yung maliliit na patrol boats, kailangan nila bumalik palagi so napakamahal ng gastos sa, sa gasolina at crudo. So, mm -hmm. $25 billion is a pittance. Mm -hmm. I hope that the Senate through the leadership can step up uh, the funding. Maybe match what we gave last year. Di ba? Kung kaya nila magdagdag ng $10 billion pa mm -hmm. for the $25 billion for their anti-hacking, yung sa cyber hacking units, mm -hmm. yung mga uh, additional missiles, mm -hmm. aircraft, and ships for both Coast Guard and the Navy. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Robert. Sir, good morning. Your reaction lang, sir, and comment. Ngayong umaga po kasi during sa aliansa ng Bagong Pilipinas na nilaunch po ni President Marcos, pinakilala na niya yung labing dalawang uh, slate niya na bubuhin dahil nga po aliansa, iba-ibang partido nang galing. Kasama po dito yung mga nakasama na ninyo before dito sa Senate, si Tito Sen, si, si Senator Manny Pacquiao, si King former Lapson. Senator uh, uh, Lapson. Lap, uh, Lapson, Senator Lapid. Your reaction to this, sir? No, I welcome that. Alam mo naman, I'm an ally of the president, so wala naman po akong problema dyan. I've worked with all of them, di ba? Kasama naman natin sila dito. And we're excited to see the outcome of this uh, 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 2025 elections. And hopefully, makakabalik po sila lahat. Lalo na yung mga incumbents na nandito po na yan. Sir, may mga susuportahan ka ba endorse na mga senatorial candidates? Siguro sa Mindanao, tsaka sa... Uh, Kasi meron po kaming sugar block, uh, yung mga sugar producing areas, which is Negros, mm -hmm. parts of Batangas, and uh, uh, Iloilo, and Panay Island. Uh, they're asking, ta ta tumatawag sila palagi sa akin eh, kung mag endorse po ako ng mm -hmm. naisusuportahan nila. Of course, I'll be endorsing some candidates. But really? I'm not at liberty to say which ones at this point in time. Some are re-electionists, sir. Oh, yes. Yes, some are re-electionists. Alam mo, problema kasi walang clear prohibition ang wala po tayong batas sa anti-dynasty. Eh. So, mm -hmm. uh, anyone at this point in time is welcome to run. Um, mm -hmm. It is not unconstitutional or, well, it's not yet un it's not unconstitutional because there's no law yet, so it's not illegal. But of course, eventually we should come up with an anti-dynasty measure kasi uh, uh, eventually it would be good to have this type of reforms in the mm -hmm. system. But I have no no problem with Irwin. I work with him. Uh, when I used to be in the morning show ABS-CBN, mm -hmm. dati sa magang kay ganda, mm -hmm. sama ko sa so matagal na kami kay Bigan ni Irwin. And uh, Ben, alam mo yung pamilya tul po kay Bigan ko sila kasi Simon yung kuya mo nila. Kasama mm -hmm. ko sa martial arts sa bakbakan, mm -hmm. uh, black belt sa amin yung si kuya mo. So. Um, I have no problems with any of these people running at this point in time. Wala naman tayong problema. Pero sir, maganda ba sa image ng Senate na parang ang sabi ni Ma, kamag-anak incorporated? Mamano ako. No comment, ha? Kapaaway pa ako dito. Okay, may an. Hello? Yes. We'll wait. Who's handling the OVP budget? Is it uh, Senator Poe? Senator Poe. Yes. Mm -hmm. We'll wait for the decision of Senator Poe uh, on on what her plan of action will be. So we have several colleagues that already said that they want to increase the budget allocation. I think it's Senator Joel Villanueva and Senator Jingo Estrada. So we'll just wait for the final outcome, and we'll be discussing it on the floor. It's too premature at this point in time to say what should happen and what will happen. Mm -hmm. In fairness, dito nag-attend po siya and she answered mm -hmm. questions uh, raised by some of our senators. She was very uh, engaging with the senators, so walang problema. Kaya, so hintayin ko lang yung decision ni... I think the appetite though amongst the senators is to increase his, her budget a bit. Mm -hmm. yung, sa usap-usapan sa lounge. Increase from the appetite is of the senators. Huh? I'm not saying me. I'm saying the, sen the discussions on the uh, lounge is to increase uh, ng konti yung budget ng, ng OVP. So yung 2 point something billion, dagdagan pa? Increase from net o yung ibabalik nyo lang? Ne, ne, ne. 
yung 700 million na bina, yung 700 million na inapprove ng house dati sa amin yan 700 million eh mm-hmm. 700 million so yung appetite ng ibang senador dito sa, dito sa senado is dagdagan pa ng konti mm-hmm. by how much wala pa ay hindi ko masabi yun e, yan ang usap-usapin lang ng nandoon hindi ko nakausap and the best person to ask there is the chairperson of her Or, or the chairperson of the finance committee, which is Senator Grace Poe. So, sir, ang mangyayari niyan, pagdating sa BICAM na lang, i, uh, aayusin kung magkaiba yung... <laughs> Magkakaroon ng difference sa BICAM, eh, so difference of opinion. Again, the best person to answer that is Senator Grace Poe. Sir, so, so dapat ba umatay dito si DG para hindi magkaroon ng katulad ng issue like sa house? Di ba sa pag-plenary, umatay? I think she'll, have, I think she'll attend here. Mm. I think she'll Dito attend sa here. Senate. Mas, I think, huh? I think. Mas, of course, I don't want to. I don't want to guess anything. Because she won't attend. Then, pagalitan niyo ako na hindi pa nag-attend. Ako na. I think she might attend here. <laughs> yeah, last year she was here. But uh, we'll see. Sir, enough na basis ba para ipanawagan na mag-step down sa position si BP yung hindi niya pag-attend sa house? Hindi na, hindi naman tama siguro yan. I think mm-hmm. it's her prerogative. She was selected by 31 million Filipinos. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, as she said, she will respect the decision of Congress on her budget. We'll leave it at that. Mm-hmm. We'll leave it at that. Okay, any more question? No more? Thank you, Gutom guys. Na <laughs> Gutom na sila. Gutom din ako. Hindi <laughs> pa ako oh, nag-breakfast. Gusto namin, <laughs> sir, makapunta sa mga sinasabi mong magandang bitch sa bar. Oo, oh, oh. punta tayong tawi-tawi. <laughs> Sige. <laughs> Set ko, gusto mo? Pero sasakay na naman tayo ng military plane. Yung may pink sun. C-130 na lang. Sorry, C-130 na naman. <laughs> On that Baka note... Baka we can charter a flight, no? Baka we can charter a flight. What we can do is... What we can do is... No, what we can do is sa buwanga tayo. Then I can charter a, a plane. A big one. Yung hindi naman military. Yung mm-hmm. propeller. Plus we can go to... There we need to, we can, we can, ano, mga Cebu Pacific, mga Paldi. Basta sir, gusto na makita yung pink sand. Ah, talaga? Oo, yun ang gusto na. Pwede tayo magzambuanga. Parang ano, uh, part of the book launching, punta tayo doon. Ayun. Ah, tawi-tawi tayo. Sama kayo, ha? Oh, we'll get everybody, including the cameraman, we'll bring, take them there. Sir, dapat ngayon nakabreak yung session. Oo nga. Itong break? Why not? Why not? Peanut pa baka wala pa time. <laughs> oh, baka. Anyway, on that note, thank, thank you. you so much as Senator Juan. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's good to see you all. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Salamat. Thank you to Salamat. Mira. <laughs> Mira.